Hello guys, here we go. So I've had my first test. Um, two guys, big guy coming up to me. Um, I I love that, that God beginning with A. And uh, he asked to use my microphone, but I said, no, I'm not allowed to. <laughs> and if anybody ever asks and says, who told you not that you're not allowed, who's, who, 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 who's your boss or whatever, I'll say God. <laughs> Here we go. Repent. Repent. Repent, Bradford. Because Jesus Christ is coming. If you're not saved, get saved. Otherwise, you'll be left behind when the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ shall be shall rise first, and then we which are alive and remain are going to be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, in the rapture, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. And then this world is going to be turned upside down during what Jesus described as the Great Tribulation, the Apocalypse period, when God will pour out his wrath and his judgments upon an unbelieving, unrepenting world which refuses to acknowledge the one true God who made the heavens, the earth, the sea, and all that therein is. The Bible is the holy word of God. It tells us that God wants all to be saved. It also says that all can be saved. No matter who you are and no matter what you have done, turn to the Lord Jesus because he's promised that he will not turn anyone away who comes to him. Get saved because if you're not saved, you're on the path to hell. Hell. Jesus talked a lot about hell. He said it's a place of outer darkness where there is weeping and wailing, where there is gnashing of teeth, where the worm never dies and the fire never goes out. You are loved. Are you a born again Christian, are you? Hallelujah. Good. Yeah, God is amazing. Yeah, thank you. God bless you. God bless you indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ, God bless you. Hold on a second. Two seconds, guys. It's a... Uh, Bit, um, makes me a bit nervous coming here sometimes because it's full of Muslims but the fear of man bringeth a snare but whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be saved Bradford God bless you I haven't come here with any condemning message I've come here to tell you that this is the last call into the kingdom of God before the Lord Jesus comes and takes his church out of this world. When he comes and takes all believers out of this world. So if you're not saved already, then I urge you to lay hold of your salvation. We're not talking about going to church every Sunday of being religious, just having some faith and believing that Jesus is the Son of God who died on the cross to pay the penalty in full for our lifetime of sin and he was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures and if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and you're not ashamed to say, I need you, Lord Jesus, come into my life. And you believe that he died and rose again for you, for your sin, you will be saved. But Jesus said, except you repent, you will all likewise perish. That means except you change your mind from your unbelief and believe the good news, believe the gospel, then you will perish. And God doesn't want any to perish. The Bible says that God wants all to be saved. And all can be saved. No matter who you are. No matter what you have done. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. 
be a whosoever because we're running out of time. Jesus Christ is coming at any second now. We are in the season for the rapture of the church to take place. When Jesus descends from heaven, he doesn't touch down on the earth, but he descends and he gathers all believers up into heaven in the rapture before the great tribulation apocalypse period begins. Don't gamble, don't take the gamble that Jesus isn't who he says he is. He says, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. You don't want to be left behind for what's coming upon this world because it's going to be very, very bad. There's going to be great earthquakes such as has never been seen before. There's going to be famine and starvation and war, the likes of which this world has never seen before. When Jesus descends from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first and then we which are alive, all believers in Jesus which are alive and remain are going to be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air in what's commonly referred to as the rapture and so shall we ever be with the Lord and then this world shall be turned upside down according to the prophet isaiah this world is going to be turned upside down during the great tribulation apocalypse period when god will pour out his wrath and his judgments upon this unbelieving and unrepenting world which refuses to repent refuses to change your mind from your unbelief and believe the gospel Believe the gospel when you still can, when you've still got chance before you witness this great vanishing of all believers when Jesus descends and takes them all out of this world up into heaven. Don't wait until you witness this great vanishing of all Christians when the rapture happens. Get on board the ark of salvation now, now, because time is running out. I've come here, I've been sent here to warn you and tell you what's coming upon this world. First of all, the Lord Jesus comes and takes all his children up into heaven. And then the great tribulation will begin. Seven years, it'll be a living hell. It's called Jacob's trouble, Daniel's 70th week. A time Jesus said so terrible that there's never been a time like it and there never will be again. And if God didn't shorten the days of the great seven year tribulation, then no flesh would survive. Jesus said the great tribulation apocalypse, he said that men's hearts will faint from fear when they see what is coming upon this world. And you don't have to be here for what is coming upon this world if you will but believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you are ashamed of the Lord Jesus and his words, he'll be ashamed of you. If you deny the Lord Jesus, he'll deny you and you won't make it into heaven. But you will find yourself in hell, in outer darkness, weeping and wailing and grinding your teeth for eternity. Get saved. Lay hold of your salvation. There's nothing you need to do to earn your salvation. You don't earn your salvation by being good. You are saved when you believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation for everybody that believes. No matter who you are, no matter what you have done, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Be a whosoever, because this really is the last call into the kingdom of God before Jesus comes and takes his church up into heaven and then the world will be turned upside down. When this one world leader shall come on the world stage, one world leader, he will form a new world order and a one world government. He will do away with cash and he will cause everyone to receive a mark, the mark of the beast in the right hand or in the forehead, some kind of digital ID. You won't be able to buy anything without it. You won't be able to sell anything without the mark in your right hand or in your forehead. But the Bible says 
or who take the mark of the beast 666 or who take this digital digital ID in the right hand or in the forehead will be cast into the lake of fire which is the second death repent therefore for the kingdom of heaven is at hand Jesus Christ is coming are you ready don't be left behind because you rejected the free gift of God which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord, for everybody that believes. I'll try and do a short video so it's not too uh, boring for you guys.